Good morning, I am Dr. Emma. How can I help you today? Good morning, doctor. I'm Mrs. White and I'm here because my daughter has diarrhea. Oh, poor baby. It must be very hard for you too. Yes, doctor. I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. White. May I have her name, please? Her name is Mary. What a nice name. And how old is she? She's nine months old. She's still very young. Yes, very young to suffer this illness. Right. Can you tell me more about her condition? Her stools were watery for three days now and defecates three to four times in a day. She very lethargic and does not eat well. I see. Can you describe the stool? What's the color? It's yellowish. Is there blood on the stool? If so, is it fresh blood? The stool has blood, but I don't know what a fresh blood looks like. Okay. Any mucus? No, doctor. Have you taken her temperature? Yes, but her temperature is just 36.5. That's normal, right? Yes, her temperature is within the normal range. Was there a time that she was shaking? No. Where is she now? Is she staying with you? Yes, she's with me. Have you tried giving her medications? No, I don't know what medication to give her. Okay. Have you noticed any food that makes her diarrhea worse? Few minutes after breastfeeding, she tends to defecate a lot. I see. Any other symptoms that you have noticed? No, doctor. How often do you have to change her diapers? Around 10 in a day. Has she ever had any similar episodes before? No, doctor. Is she a full-term baby? Yes, doctor. Was she delivered vaginally or C-section? Vaginally. Did you have routine checkups during your pregnancy? Yes, doctor. Did you have medical problems during pregnancy or after birth? No complications at all. Are here immunizations up to date? Yes. Does she have regular checkup with her pediatric Ian? Yes, doctor. Who usually takes care of her? My mother and I. Can you tell me about her diet recently? She's exclusively breastfed. Has she ever traveled? Not yet. Mrs. White, I think your daughter has an infection in her bowels. For adults, it might not be a serious problem but a baby as young as her has to be closely monitored. A baby's immune system is not fully developed yet, so they are prone to infection. We need to confine her to this hospital for close monitoring and for hydration. However, there may be other causes of the symptoms that she is manifesting right now. For us to rule out other possibilities and get the exact diagnosis, we need to do some tests. What brought you here, Ellen? I'm so sorry. How long have you been coughing? It's been three months already. So it got worse recently? Yes, doctor. Do you notice some phlegm? No. Is the cough there all the time? Or it's on and off? 
It's been here all the time. Is there anything that makes your cough worse? Like positional changes, seasonal changes, after eating. Positional changes like lying down makes me cough even worse. Is there anything that makes your cough better? Have you taken any medication? I took some cough medication. So do you have any other symptoms besides a cough? Any fever? Chills? Night sweats? I have had on and off fever. Have you noticed any changes in your weight? Any changes in your appetite? Any changes in your bowel habits? I have lost weight, though my appetite seemed normal and my bowel habits are regular. Have you experienced shortness of breath? Have you felt any chest pain? Yes. There were times when felt like I was catching my breath, and I also experienced chest pain sometimes. Have you ever had wheezing? Headaches? Runny nose? Sore throat? Postnasal drip? Yes, I have had postnasal drip. Have you ever had asthma? Gastric acid problems, allergic rhinitis, drug allergies, any heart problems? No, I have not had any of those. Do you have any other problems in your lungs? Stomach, liver, kidneys? No, doctor. Have you ever had any surgeries? I never had one in my life. Is there anybody in your family being sick now? What about at work? Actually, I work at the day care center and the kids are always sick. Do they have the same cough as you do? A cough without phlegm? Some kids cough with phlegm, but some also have none. Is there anybody who has had tuberculosis around you? No, doctor. Is there anybody in your family having other disease such as diabetes? Heart problems? High blood pressure? My father has high blood pressure. Now I would like to ask some personal questions which can be helpful for me to figure this out better. Is it okay with you? No problem, doctor. So how long have you worked in the daycare center? About a year, doctor. Do you drink? Do you smoke? Do you use any illegal drugs? I drink occasionally, but I have not tried smoking and using illegal drugs. Now, I would like to ask you about your sexual life. I know this is very private, but sometimes this can give us a big hint. Will you not mind? Not at all. I am open for those questions as long as it can help figure out my problem. Okay, are you sexually active? If so, how many partners do you have? Do you use protections? No, doctor. I'm not sexually active. Where are you originally from? I'm from the Philippines. Have you recently traveled? When is the last time you traveled outside of Los Angeles? I went home to the Philippines three to four months ago. Do you have any pets at home? Were you exposed to any animals or birds recently? No. Have you ever had PPD test? Like an injection on your arm and measure the round in duration two days later? Not yet, doctor. 
Okay, thank you for answering my questions, Miss Ellen. Even though there are some more possible sources of your coughs, like asthma or pneumonia, I'm still not sure exactly what it is. So I will run some tests such as blood works and chest x-rays. I think I can talk to you better about the diagnosis and the proper treatment when I get the result of those tests. In the meantime, I will give your medication to ease your cough. Do you have any questions? I work at a day care center. Is this the reason why I have a cough? It might. Do I need antibiotics to get better? Maybe. It depends on what you really have though. If it is pneumonia, they help. But for others, they do not. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome. See you soon.